How yeah. bad is this for baseball in general? I got to tell you, and I know, I know. I think this is good for baseball. I think in the, in the, the big picture, it's good for baseball. Before I even get to the more reasonable point, let me start with a hot take. No one thinks about baseball anymore. It's not a national sport anymore. We don't discuss it, barely discuss it during the World Freaking Series. Mm -hmm. and, 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 like, unless there's controversy, when do we talk about it? We don't. I grew up on baseball, man. That was the number one sport in the country. That's not the case anymore. And I love baseball. <coughs> it's just not the case. It's a highly local sport. If you're in New York and you root for the Yankees, you don't care what, like, the Padres are doing. You don't watch Padres games. You don't follow the team. You can't name their roster. But in the NFL, you, you root for the Giants. You know, okay, the Chargers are in L.A. now, but you know what's going on with the Chargers. You know guys on their roster. You know who they're playing, the whole thing. It's a shared experience. That's, so right now what's happened is everyone's thinking about baseball. The problems baseball's run into, Stephen A., it's not just scandalized by steroids or this cheating, right? The problem is it does not really resemble the game that the old-timers love, which is the real core of their fan base in baseball, and it's not as exciting a sport. It's intrinsically an inferior consumer product, as is soccer, by the way, the older sports, to the NFL and the NBA, football and basketball. So it's not as exciting as those sports. It, it doesn't appeal to the old-timers for the same reasons. But for the first time in forever, everyone's talking about baseball. And you could say, well, it's for bad reasons and this and that, but at least they're paying attention. So then it becomes, how's baseball going to react? All the managers involved are getting fired. <laughs> and I don't think it's stopping here. I think it will continue. And unlike the steroids era, Stephen A., which we're probably in again. I mean, every second baseman's hitting 30 home runs. Give me a break. The point is, unlike the PED era, Bonds, McGuire, Sosa, all those guys, you know, breaking records, ridiculous. Back then, the, the scandal actually pumped up the sport because everyone loves offense. This scandal's not pumping up the sport. This scandal simply gave certain teams advantages over other teams. So when you clean it up, it doesn't depress offense. It doesn't make it a less consumer-friendly game. The punishment has been swift. Stephen A., it didn't take a year and a half like in the NFL. I don't think it's over. And ultimately, the result won't make baseball into something people like less, and it's on their brain. I got to tell you, in the big picture, I think it helps. I want to talk about baseball scandals. In 1919, the World Series was fixed. Because of baseball's response to it, they entered an era in the 20s of unprecedented popularity. That's really when it became the national pastime, the, the juiced ball era back then, right? Mm -hmm. It depends on how widespread the cheating is. Part of it in 1919, mm -hmm. Stephen A., is that there was a definite villain, right? You, you could say, these guys cheated. If it turns out everyone in baseball is doing it, that's one thing. But what about Jose Altuve? I want to get to that. Do we have the video on this? I want to get to the Altuve situation. Here's the home run. It's not the only time he's done that. I thought, I thought, man, Altuve is the most clutch guy I've ever seen. He seems to know what's coming. Don't take off my shirt. Oh. And when he's asked yeah. about it, no, I'm not wearing a wire. When he's asked about it, oh, he, my wife is, I'm embarrassed. My wife gave me a hard time last time. Are you, uh, do you expect me to believe that nonsense? Come on, get all the Whoa. way out of here. So, Stephen A., in this case, there is a villain. The, the, the Houston Astros organization and their players, like Jose Altuve, they are cheaters. If it turns out all of baseball is doing it, bad for baseball. But if we can pin it on a few clubs, a few bad apples, baseball can benefit from this. Well, well let me say this. I get, again, I respectfully disagree with you. I get your point, Max. But look at the times that we were living in. You're talking about America's national pastime. Baseball was all it had. Basketball hadn't arrived yet. Football, I mean, come on now. It wasn't what it is today. We get all that. Baseball was it. It was America's national pastime. Those guys were superstars. The social media didn't exist at that particular moment in time. There weren't a bunch of options to choose from to turn your attention away from the sport if, the, if you were so disgusted about it. In today's generation, that is not the case. You got football There's basketball, basketball is an option. There's football is an option. There's Hollywood is an option for crying out loud. This social media, you don't have to pay attention to baseball. You can turn away from it based off the sheer disgust. I disagree with you but there. But we're paying That's not attention to it now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube.
For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.